three alignment holes here where you have to put screws through on either side and I make sure that as soon as you have a good adjustment of the screw putting in you get this little ring drill or boring drill and you just run it in like so on that one And all that is is for when you put the screws through the roof, you have good adjustment to be able to get into the hole that's already in the roof gutter into the vehicle. And you do the same on the other side, exactly the same. Grab your back. all the way around the whole roof so that when you put your panel in on the inside it covers the panel in neatly. There's a timber on the front of the roof that sometimes might not be 100% in line. Um, with this one it was low on, correct on this side, too high on this side. So what you might have to do, get a little saw like this one, give it a little bit of a trim through this section here, which I've already done previously. Then you could get your knife and just give it a slight little trim up just to make sure this rubber clips down perfectly on the roof, like so. On the inside here, just to stop any excess dust getting in on the inner roof lining, which you don't want. Better off keeping it nice and clean. All in, straight on the clip, out she comes. Two little clips, one either side of the plug. Makes it easy to get the light out. And you've got to pop that out. Now of course, you're not using these again. added a screw to it and what you do stick it in the hole turn once twice pull out your little stud again once twice pull out your little stud okay panel one now once you've got your roof in and you put a surround panel all around you may want to use this again to control your lights so it works with the actual vehicle of the car so all you do is you just junction into these wires and run your lights off of this cable but for now I tuck it in out the way because I don't want it there when I start cutting I'm cutting the roof along here I don't want this cable anywhere in the way so you move it out to the side. About middle of the door, like so. Like this. When you cut this one that way, cut and one that way and then this one you open your door you just tuck that in there like that close your door with this one just take it around and tuck it in behind the door and then a bit of masking tape that in place like so, close your door up, pull this little bit of ground over, and just a little bit over here. 
make sure you put some protective bone on the side so that way if you rest it up against a vehicle there's no chance of damaging it. Masking tape along the roof edge. Then I started with my plastic just put the little patches of masking tape to hold it in place and then run a complete seal right the way down to make sure it was totally sealed. Yeah. Put this piece on this side of the, the ram at the back, like that. That tucks in nicely on the inside, and then this one tucks in here. first just to mark it then what I do is I'll check on the inside of the vehicle to make sure I'm not going to hit any wiring I'm going to drill so if we need to make sure this wiring is not going to be caught by the drill Drill a five millimeter hole first. <laughs> now you don't want to go over tighten it as you rip it all the way out. You don't want to go under tight nets as when you go putting a nut in, it, it's not tight enough for you to do the nut up. It just starts spinning.
lugs on the roof are actually offset so the bottom one is this way the top has to be the other way so it's a good idea just to twist the ram round like so so as that offset when you go putting it on it makes the job a lot easier as hard as you can. what they call a second seal. That way, just say you didn't have it sealed 100% on the outside, what you do now on the inside. You've got to make sure the spoiler sits nice and compressed against the rubber here but you must also have the same distance from this roof edge here to this, pan this beam, edge of the beam here on either side it must be equal so to do that we get a tank measure measure the distance from the base of the rubber look to the rubber to that edge there now the easiest way to do it is to the edge of the door here which is exactly 65 so it's 65 millimeters if we check the other side it's right, and we must lift the roof yeah i think that's that be close now so we've got to lift the roof and i've got to adjust the back in where the spoiler sits on the edge of it. What are going to do? That uh, actually come out. Let's uh, look at the spoiler. These lines here I've marked on the roof is exactly where the spoiler is going to sit. So now you've got to mask it up and prepare it to put the primer. Now a good idea is to put your tape back from that line 
about four mil because you don't want it exactly on the line because if you do and you have to when you prime it it's going to actually be seen It's a lot easier just to go right the way across and dabbing it here and there. Don't be shy, put a fair amount on. First one on an angle, back towards the door. latch comes with adhesive on the bottom and you connect the latch the, the mount to the latch on either side and then you pull the roof down and it automatically sticks to where it's got to be mounted and then all you do is just drill your holes take the latch off remove the contact underneath and put the rubber seal and then just screw it back down where you had it mounted at you have a couple of adjustments. If it doesn't line up properly with your, your bottom mount, you have an adjustment at the top which slides the locking system back and forwards. There's two nuts on the side here which actually angle and move the locking system up and down. So you can play with that to get your second absolutely perfect. doing now is just cleaning up the support bar which goes up in the roof. I'll show you where I mount that one shortly. Right down where we're going to sick her. Decent amount of sicker. Just tighten it down.
push along here. Yeah. Push along here. Yeah. All right. And that goes into the stripping. Yeah. And put clips up like so, and then we put screws in here. So I'll flip it over, finished. and snug and you mark out the roof is going to sit the line I've drawn on here is inside the pop top roof now you have to come back 
at least four to five mil past that line so as when you put it in you're able to connect the inner rubber all the way around push it in That holds that up in place for me. Now you've got to put it back underneath the rubber. 